So the idea of having a cardiac ablation can be intimidating or scary for a patient, but hopefully what we showed you today will help you understand what a procedure is and be helpful for you in making that choice. I'm Henry Wong. I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist at Rush. We're here today to do a cardiac ablation on one of our patients, Thurston Hatcher. I'm feeling good. Uh, I kind of know the drill. I've had two of these ready to get it over with. So cardiac ablation for AFib can take multiple varieties. We know the part of the heart where most atrial fibrillation triggers come from, and we seek to electrically isolate that part from the rest of the heart. So we use a lot of technology during these cases. We electrically actually form a cartoon of the map that's sort of an on-the-fly CT scan of the heart, and this helps us know where we are and where we have to do our treatment. Every uh, ablation procedure requires team effort. Jamar and I are at the bedside, anesthesia is here along with our nurses, and we also communicate you know, with our other staff and team members who are in the control room. The patient is sedated. So right now we're getting access to the femoral vein using a syringe. Once we get access to the vein, we'll, we'll pass a wire. Everything's done over wire, a soft wire, because we don't want anything sharp ever to hit the wall of the heart. They're essentially tubes that are a conduit to allow us to make their way into the heart and about to enter the heart. There you have a live image of the heart and he'll look at the left atrium, which is the chamber where we're gonna do our work. So Mr. Hatcher had an ablation before. So now we're gonna you know, check electrically to see if the ablation was effective. You know, often for a second ablation, the, the veins are reconnected. There's a small area, you see how it's a straight line on the left side. But on the right side, you see sort of a, a triangular chunk of healthy tissue. So, you know, we'll add some, you know, ablation there. So what we'll be doing is what we call a point by point ablation with, you know, the radio frequency ablation factor, which is here it has a small platinum electrode. It's dropping uh, fluid, which is to cool the catheter as it delivers energy so it doesn't char. You notice there are some extra heartbeats actually just when we have the catheter in that area. Some interesting signals there. Uh, just watch for temp any temperature rise, please. And the reason I'm asking about the temperature is the esophagus is very close to the back of the heart. If the temperature in the esophagus goes up, then we have to be more careful, potentially stop ablating. So. Yeah, so it looks like actually one of the areas where you ablated, you know, recovered on the bottom. So we're going to go, you know, back with the RF catheter to ablate a little bit more there. Do you see that? Is there a spot? Yep. You see that fractionated signal? Let's come on ablation here. We got everything right. It's a good sign is this area that you know was electrically active. We're actually stimulating the heart to go faster, uh, but it's actually not able to capture uh, any of the heart muscle to make it go faster. So we know this ablation has been effective. Uh, Jamaro will just check to make sure that there's not any fluid around the heart, you know, that everything looks good structurally. Everything will come out of the body. We'll reverse the blood thinner. We'll hold pressure here for 10 minutes after he's done that you know, we'll wake up uh, Thurston and, you know, get him to the recovery area. Easy as that. It took a little bit less than two hours to do, you know, beginning and end. We did a good amount of work. He'll do well.